good whoop I miscalculated the aim of the camera but good morning <laughs> it's 8.06 a.m. on whoops gosh I just uh here let me see if I can get around here well camera is definitely pointing at what you want to see it is 8.06 I can just peek in right here a.m. on Wednesday, January 29th, 2020, and I'm Christiana Ellis, and this is my new puppy, Rocket. This is five more minutes. Look, 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 puppy. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can uh, lean in. Um, so, yesterday there was a little bit of a... Uh, uh, Ex uh, exciting roller coaster where uh, there was apparently a miscommunication where the breeder thought I was coming today instead of yesterday and I obviously thought I was going yesterday so it was briefly a period where I thought that I was going to have to um, stay in town out there uh, another day and wait until today to bring him home but it worked out because the Breeder was very understanding and accommodating, and ta-da! So, uh, what you chewing on? Don't chew on the mat. You've got lots of other toys in there. There you go. That's better. <laughs> um, so, uh, the drive yesterday was obviously not the fun part. It was like five hours in the car, and, you know, little guy frankly all things considered was an angel um, didn't make a lot of noise but did have a tummy ache and uh, did barf up a little bit in the car you know in in the crate which you know obviously that's no fun but it's fine because we made it here just fine I'm a little loopy right now because as part of the housebreaking process set alarms to wake up every two hours last night to uh to uh you know take take a little guy outside so that we don't have uh, an accident uh we certainly did have some accidents when we were doing the initial exploration phase which is why at least for a little while i mean it was always the plan to have this little enclosure like this um but you know uh you, it's I feel like it's a tradition because uh, Luna on her first day home had three accidents within the first hour so didn't quite beat that record but uh, you know definitely we're uh, gonna be working on that uh, but I tell you waking setting an alarm to wake yourself up every two hours is not a recipe for solid you know deep sleep because like even on top of just having to actually wake up anticipating waking up and like coming a little bit awake and saying oh how much time is it before the alarm goes off and doing that over and over again not not the recipe for you know deep restful sleep for me he's fine <laughs> in fact very quiet in, in the crate he's very well behaved so far and as you can see clearly adorable and uh yeah so we just had first breakfast here at home and it went great he was certainly hungry and uh yeah so we have our first veterinarian check-in appointment uh, a little bit later this morning and we're just starting our whole little adventure together yep what do you think, Rocket? Are we going to be a good team? Are we going to be Team Rocket? Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Not the sole inspiration for the name, incidentally, because Rocket is in a lot of things. But I'm not displeased with the association. See also Rocket Raccoon. But yes, I tried on lots of different names, and that's the one that felt right, you know? Every so often it's kind of like, well, this would be a good name, but is it the right one? Rocket's the right one. All right, so, although I'm sure you would love me to just leave this on all day, I've got stuff to do. So, 
I'm going to say goodbye for now, and I'll talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes.